The lady of the house says our bathroom mirror is unsightly because it's starting to fail along this bottom edge. A new mirror costs about $50, but I'm feeling poor, so my plan is to cut off about a one inch strip of glass on the lower edge of this mirror and hopefully appease the complainant. I gave myself 50-50. I've cut about two pieces of glass in my life, so we'll see how this goes. The process I need to follow is I need to score the glass in a straight line right where I want my cut to be using a glass cutter. Then I'll try to break the glass along that line in one smooth, strong motion. I'm optimistic. The first step I've taken is to make a mark with a Sharpie pen at each end of the mirror. This is 7 eighths from the bottom and that's where I will make my score line. I'm liking this old door for a cutting jig. It's got a handle and these rubber seals along the perimeter grip the glass and won't scratch it. So here's the big one, making the score. I need to do this in one motion and I need to push hard enough to hear a screeching sound. Now the next step is the fun part. I need to break off just this little strip. I'm putting this level just underneath the score line for support. This is a stick. These are safety glasses, and it should be interesting whatever happens. One, two, three. Could have been a lot worse. Wow. Okay. That will almost work. The question, the million dollar question is, should I try to clip off these remaining bits? You know, at this point, I'm feeling pretty lucky. I'll just use some pliers and give it a little nip. What do you think? Do you think that'll do? Very nice. Originally, the mirror was mounted to this wall using plastic clips. But since the lower edge is now a little bit more raw looking than it was before, I'll substitute these with aluminum J channel. When the glass is placed in here, that jagged edge won't even show. To figure out where this thing goes, I've taken a couple of measurements. And I won't give them back either. They're mine. So that when I put this thing on the wall, the screws will go directly into studs. Included with the mounting hardware for the J channel, were these drywall anchors, but some things I just don't believe in, and drywall anchors are one of them, especially when they're holding glass. I've got the J channel put on there. If my calculations are correct, I should be able to use the same mounting points for these upper clips. So I'll tip it up in here and see how it comes out. That should work. Spot on! Okay, I like the way that turned out. It looks good, especially with the classic Elizabeth Taylor dressing room light bar up here. So how much money did I save on this project? A new mirror would have cost about $50, and this J channel was only eight. So when it's all said and done, it's really hard to say because my favorite camera fell off the table and broke when we were outside cutting this glass. Oh well, cost of doing business I guess. I can reflect on it later. This part of the video is kind of hard for me. The rest of the story is that we have another mirror that's identical to the one I just cut earlier that needed the same work done. Here's the result. I couldn't put up that other video in good faith without letting you know for this amateur chances of success are so far about 50-50. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I might try to cut it again at this level but then I'll have a really short mirror compared to what was there before or maybe I'll just buy a new one. But you all have a great day. I have to say that's about the biggest, sharpest butter knife I've ever seen. <laughs> we'll get through it one way or the other.
Thanks for watching.